Coach Nichols, obviously, uh, kind of a strange game, very back and forth. But uh, I'm sure the only thing you care about is you came on the road and you and your guys found a way to come out here with a win. Yeah, found a way. That's it. Exactly. We um, coming off such a intense and long and draining match on on Saturday night, emotionally draining, physically draining. Um, there are a lot of reasons why we might be a little flat tonight, and I was worried about it. And I think in moments we were, but uh, our character showed through, and we definitely uh, we grinded. And I, I do think um, I think IUP wise. Um, come a long way. They've got a little bit of momentum, doing well on the horizon. But I, I think uh, I think it was a deserved win. I think we were the better team. I think we uh, pressed the the goal more, created more chances, and um, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the guys. Let me first ask you um, about uh, BG's first goal of the night that ended up uh, Chris Sullivan scored. But it was at a time, and I don't know if this would happen to you guys, but just felt like maybe you know it was a one nil deficit. Just to, it looked like maybe guys were a time where guys could have started getting frustrated, I guess. And you really, uh, I think, starting with uh, Maddie Walters, just a nice effort on the number on the part of a couple guys to uh, to get that goal. I mean, is that just? And again, maybe it's me. It just felt like they were things weren't connecting at yep. the end, and uh, both Maddie and Tate kind of came through with a little bit of magic. Yeah, so there. you're saying that was like uh, the timing on that goal was pretty important. Yeah, you kind of think what you're getting at. Uh, yeah. I think that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> but yeah, just I guess just talk about that, just that goal, yeah, and then what. The, I think that uh, we we're fighting because we're fatigued uh, physically, emotionally. I think we we're fighting uh, the tendency to get frustrated all night. You know, when uh, we'd string passes and it wouldn't work out. Um, you know, the tendency is to get frustrated with each other, with ourselves, and then when you go down a goal, you're pressing even harder. Um, so I, I would agree, like that goal was important. I do. I did really appreciate the uh, the mentality in the second half. I thought the first half we lacked a lot of urgency, but in the second half I thought um, urgent but patient, you know. And I think uh, that means you know do everything you can to get your chance, but then when it doesn't happen, you just recycle and start over. So I, I, I do think that had we not gotten that goal, I think we would have gotten one anyway. And I, and I think we we're destined to uh, to get a result tonight. And then I got to ask you, obviously in the overtime. Uh, just a great effort by Charlie, but uh, you and I were talking a little bit. There, there are a lot of times where maybe some people in the building think, you know, time's going to run out in the period. But uh, you know, as as you said, sometimes there's more time than you think, and you guys got to throw in with under 20 seconds left and just made some things happen. I guess talk about that play and the mentality behind uh, that. Yeah, I mean, winning teams is certain certain things uh, and that's why they're winning teams and I think playing right till the end there and realizing how much you can get done with a uh, little time on the clock is, is one of those things and uh, unfortunately this group has been stung by that not doing that right in the past and we learned and um, uh, you know exceptional effort by Charlie to stay posed composed and not not rush it but he had to go quick and um, just I'm really really happy for him really happy for the group all right, sir, and uh, I know you've had very little time to digest this one, but uh, now you're, you're back into the conference schedule for the next couple games beginning this weekend, back on the road in Northern Illinois. What do you do, you know, between now and then? That's four days away, but you got a trip home tonight, a trip out there. What do you, do you I guess, just first off, just look to kind of rest and recover, heal some bumps and bruises? Yeah, and, and get, get ready for a test. You know, this is going to be a um, test how tough we are. So that's two overtime games in a row. That stuff adds up on your legs. Uh, a lot of travel. And we're going up to play a really, uh, really sound NIU team. So um, we definitely got our work cut out for us. So we, um, that's what we want. We want to see, see what we got, see if we can dig down and, and pull it together. But um, it's going to be tough. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.